there's these two stories that my parents would tell me about their experiences with school. Yeah, my dad, he was from Burwash, a very small community, and he'd take the bus to school. So he'd play around and be rowdy and just goof off, but that would get him in trouble. So when he got to school, he'd get the strap from the principal. And for years that continued, he'd always be getting the strap. So he just stopped going on the bus, and it was a far walk, so he'd just stop, he just stopped going to school. And he never graduated, but he did go back to school, and he got his journeyman and became a carpenter. My mom, she's from Whitehorse, and so her school was a lot bigger, but there wasn't many First Nations people. And one day in her, um, her English or her history class, they were talking about different races, and the teacher, he put her on the spot, and he, he told everybody to look at her and to look at her features and see how different she was. He's like, look at Sheila's eyes. Look how slanted they can be. She's like, look how dark her hair is. Look how dark her skin is. Yeah, both my parents, they never had great experiences with school. And they never believed in it. So they, they understood my struggle with it. And they told me just to, just to relax and don't worry about it. That school is not important. And they never pushed me to, um, to work very hard. Sure. And they never listened to my teachers. Growing up. And it's a hard habit to break. To not to try and not to believe to get by, really. And I never thought what that what happened to them would happen to me. And at the time, I didn't think it was a big deal when it did. But in grade seven, our teacher she was teaching us about the Beringia and the land bridge, and she was talking about the origin of First Nations people in Canada, and that they may have came from from Asia. And she pointed every First Nations person out, like even me. And she's like, look at Dallas's eyes. Um, look at the almond shape of them. Look how full her lips are. She pointed out a few people. All of us and it kind of made you feel special at the time. But now it's like, she shouldn't have done that. Like, this is the 21st century. 